Hi, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. I am so excited because today we're going to talk about mind-bending horrors and thrillers about time travel. I was a little bit worried about doing this video and I've wanted to do it for a really long time uh, because of spoilers. You know, I'm not a big fan of spoilers. I like to give recommendations to you that will blow your mind like this video. So I did pick out one or two of them that I feel like the fact that time travel is involved are spoilers. So I've actually put them in the description down the very bottom for you sickos who want to ruin it for yourself. This is mainly because I know there's a couple that you guys are going to be screaming at me in the comments, but the reason I haven't put them in the video is because I don't want to spoil them for the people who have not seen them. I want their minds to be blown. <laughs> I've also included TV shows in this because there's a few really good ones, including a new one that is going to blow your mind. And I think that TV has a real upper hand when it comes to time travel because obviously you have so many different episodes and such a longer time to let everything unwind and unravel and explain everything so I think some TV shows were okay to mix in here but anyway let's just jump straight in if you don't know hi my name is Emma I'm also known as Spooky Astronauts here on YouTube and I do two videos every single week talking about horror movies and thrillers and giving you a lot of recommendations and today we're focusing on time travel and I did try and keep the list to time travel so no movies like The Final Girls, even though I highly recommend that one. Very good movie, very good horror movie. It deals with going inside the movie, not back in time. So I tried to keep this list focused on the idea of time travel and time itself. So let's jump in to number one, one of the best films ever made. Donnie Darko. In my opinion, this is one of the greatest films ever created. Donnie Darko comes first on this list because it's one of the more layered looks at time travel. And also, it's just about humankind imploding in on itself. The film is about Donnie, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, who escapes death only to be met with a rabbit named Frank, who warns him that the world will end in 28 days. The film has themes of the philosophy of time travel, mental illness, and death. It's chilling atmosphere paired with the idea of a satire on human nature, of course with the love and fear spectrum, makes this film one that you can re-watch over and over, getting something new each time. I think I've seen this film over 15 times and every time I watch it, I'm attached to something new. But warning, for those who haven't seen it before, it's very ambiguous and not a lot of answers are given. The Donnie Darko book by the director provides more of a background and explanation to tie up any loose ends. Calls is a new TV series made up of chilling phone conversations. Every episode tells a different mysterious story with some including the passage of time. The show was created and directed by Fede Alvarez, the director of 2016's Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. Calls features the voices of Mark Duplass, Aubrey Plaza, Rosario Dawson, and many more. Each episode goes for roughly 15 minutes and the visuals are made up from text of the conversations along with the waveforms that mold into visual representations of each story. It's a very unique, well-crafted show that works best when it's binged. What a great Spanish horror mystery sci-fi. As the name hints, the story is about a man who accidentally gets into a time machine and travels back in time, but only for one hour. And now he has to deal with the complexities of existing in the same realm as himself. But there's more. The film truly spirals out of control when other people are involved. This movie is so well done and it's truly captivating from start to end. It also has a great simplicity to it with the idea of traveling back in the same day and also only within one time frame and location. It's neat and well thought out, a great place to start for those who haven't seen many time travel films. But if you wanna jump straight into the deep end, Primer is the most complex time traveling film ever. It's actually said to be one of the best time traveling films to date and many other time traveling movies have based their stories around Primer's rules of time travel and this is because it's purely based on physics. It's pretty impressive when you consider the film was made on a budget of only $7,000 and it was also written, directed and stars Shane Carruth. He had no prior filmmaking history but had this idea and wanted to make the film. He spent years both in the pre-production and the editing phases. He also claimed to quit the film three or four times out of frustration. 
Primer is about four friends who are working on a prototype after hours hoping that their project pays off. But when one of them decides to become the guinea pig, they open a time warp they can't close. The film is surprisingly dark and it truly will blow your mind. So Primer may be one of the best time travel films, but the German TV show Dark is certainly the best portrayal of time travel within a series. It also has one of the best final episodes you'll ever see in a TV show. And you can go ahead and watch it and then get back to me to tell me if I was right or not. Dark is about a small town plagued with its dark past and secrets, but these get flipped upside down when a child disappears. But the issue isn't where the child has gone, but when. The show brings a new draw-dropping layer every season. Its beautiful visuals and chilling soundtrack drops you into a new world. It's breathtaking and I highly recommend it to everyone. It's streaming on Netflix in most countries. Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to you. If I'm gonna mention one, I might as well talk about them both. Happy Death Day and Happy Death Day to you both deal with the aspect of time travel. Well, really a time loop. Happy Death Day is about more of a ground Groundhog situation where someone is waking up and repeating the same day over and over. But unfortunately for the lead tree who keeps waking up on the same day, her day always ends with her being killed. In the sequel, Tree is transported to another dimension where she is also stuck again in a time loop. People often refer to the first one as being more of a bloody horror, while the second one is more of a sci-fi comedy. I really enjoyed both. If you're looking for something a little bit more chill, they're both a laid back way of viewing time travel. I was going back and forth on whether to include the jacket on this list because it's not really a straightforward time travel film. But I figure it's so underrated it's worth mentioning. For some reason this film is not spoken about enough. Starring Adrian Brody and Kira Knightley, the film is about a war veteran who was put into a mental facility because of a crime he didn't commit. While there, a doctor uses experimental therapy and straps him into a straitjacket that gives him visions of the past and the future. It's a dark and confronting film, but it's very well executed and leaves you feeling unnerved. Of course, I'm gonna talk about The Butterfly Effect, this drama sci-fi thriller shaped a generation. Again, not straightforward time travel, but it's unique take on the fabric of time and what could happen if we alter it. Starring Ashton Kutcher, the film is about Evan, a man who learns how to alter his history and change major events. The name comes from Chaos Theory, and it's about a small change that can have a ripple and that can cause major consequences. This film has a couple of different endings, so make sure you seek them out because some are much better than others. And I do want to say the letterbox scene still bothers me till this day. Frequency is an emotional dip into time travel and follows a father and son who manage to communicate with each other via a ham radio. 30 years apart. Much like the butterfly effect, once the connection is made, they try to manipulate tragic events from their past and in doing so, create chaos and heartbreak. I'd recommend this one to those who aren't into dark horrors or thrillers. It's labeled as a drama mystery thriller, but I do think it tends to lean to the drama mystery aspect the most. It's currently at a 7.3 on IMDb, which I think is very well deserved. Now let's get a little bit lighter. What is better than watching Ash battle demons for an hour and a half? Well, nothing really, but watching him battle them in the medieval times is pretty groovy. This is the third Evil Dead film, but it's just a continuation of the second. If you didn't know, all of the three films can be played back to back seamlessly. The film follows Ash, who was transported back to 1300 AD, where he must retrieve the Necronomicon, also known as the Book of the Dead. But standing in his way is the Army of Dead. Fun fact, this film was released in Japan as Captain supermarket. I don't know where they got that. Okay, this is one of the most soulful Netflix series I've ever seen. It's also extremely dark and completely hilarious. It really is genre bending. This series has it all, including Natasha Lyonne. Russian Doll is a series about a New Yorker who keeps dying and returning to her 36th birthday party. Once she gets a grip on her sanity, she begins to pull together the pieces 
of the puzzle and unravel the mystery on why she just can't die. Cruel and Unusual should be a blind viewing. This sci-fi thriller deals with some really interesting concepts. It's about a man who is condemned for a crime that he did not commit and now he is placed in a situation where he must relive the crime ongoing for eternity. The sci-fi thriller is a low-budget independent film just done right. It's unique, it's clever and it should be at the top of your to watch list. This one is also free on Tubi in most countries. The last film I have for you today is The Call from 2020. It's a bit like Frequency but a lot more sinister. The Call is a South Korean thriller based on the British Puerto Rican film The Caller. The film is about two women from different times who can connect through a phone call. But not everything is as it seems when the person on the other end is still a stranger. The film has amazing CGI that shows real-time morphs of the circumstances that have been influenced by the ripple effects. It's a thrilling journey that's on Netflix in most countries. Well, there you go. That's my list on mind-blowing horror and thriller TV shows and movies that I'm sure you're gonna love. Again, a couple of them I didn't wanna mention because the idea that time is involved is kind of a spoiler. So I've left them in the description down at the very bottom, just so people don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> They're somewhere on this page. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have watched all of these films, please let me know. If you haven't seen them all, let me know which ones you're keen to watch and you're gonna check out. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. I'll talk to you all very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky. Bye guys.